everyone and welcome back to another episode of our MFC. Um, today is another weekly news roundup. Um, what we're going to do is just going to get straight into it because there's absolutely loads to cover and we're in a bit of a rush so let's get straight into it. So the first thing is obviously Borough have won uh, all three of the friendlies up to now so as I'm recording this it's a Friday um, so I haven't played the last one which is tonight against Plymouth. Um, but all three friendlies have been really convincing wins. Obviously, we're playing lower league opposition, but um, you know, you, you're thinking if you can still go out there, go and perform, get the wins, get the fitness in. That's what it's all about. Like you say, Warnock said previously, the results don't really matter. Um, so that's really good to see. Like you say, there was Bishop Auckland, that was a 3 0. The only one that we looked shaky in was Salt Ash United. And that was, we beat them 2-1. Um, you know, we were still pretty convincing on the ball and things. We just didn't have that kind of final cutting edge, um, which is obviously something that they've worked on because we went into the Tavistock game and beat them 7-0. Um, so you can obviously see the difference there straight away. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can get tomorrow's win. And then we play Rotherham the following Friday, I want to say. Might be a Saturday, I'm not 100% sure. And then that wraps up pre-season. Um, so, fingers crossed we can you know, win all of them games and go into the, the, the season um, full of confidence, you know, really high on fitness and just get everything that you need out of pre-season, really. Um, so, the second one is Borough are one of a number of clubs interested in Randers midfielder, uh, Torsin Keyhind. I've said this before, don't quote me on um, pronunciation because I'm not the best at all. But yeah, uh, Key Hind, he's actually a former Man U youngster. Uh, he's 23, box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, I'm not 100% sure that we'll get someone like him. If you look, uh, well, when I talk of in, further on in the video about um, someone that we might have already brought in or a couple of players that we've already kind of brought in. Um, so it's not looking likely that we're going to get another midfielder in. Little hint. Um but yeah, from what I've seen, he's actually a really good midfielder, so it would have been a good option um, had other news not developed. Uh, but the next one is um, that we missed out on Mpanzu. I genuinely thought that it was going to be done deal and Pandu to Borough, um, link up with Warnock. You know, I, I really rate this player. I really rate him, and I'm gutted that he never signed, but I hope he does well at Lewin. I hope they have a good season as well, just obviously not against us. Um, but fair play to him, you know, he's staying down there, um, signed a new contract. There was obviously, um, you'll have seen the videos of Marcus Brown with Mpanzu. I think they were like on holiday or something, and they obviously linked up. And he, he did this, this video on his Instagram story where he was obviously showing people that he was like trying to be an agent and this and the other, trying to get him to the club. Um, but obviously, that didn't work out. He, he actually posted, I'll show you the picture somewhere on here, um, that he replied to one of our posts saying that he tried, and he put it on his Twitter as well. Um, but no, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, we move. The next one, though, is good stuff, and obviously kind of cancels out a little bit the Mpanzu and when I mentioned Keyhind as well. Um, and that is that Matt Brooks is it's, the deal's pretty much almost it, it's all but confirmed really. There's just a couple of things that need doing on the dotted line that kind of thing. Um, but he was pictured with um, it was Craig Johns. He put a picture out on Twitter of Matt Brooks obviously sat at the open training session because it hasn't been confirmed. He can't train with us yet. Um, but we're hoping that if all goes well, it should be with us um, and all confirmed by the weekend. So really, when you're watching this, he should hopefully be signed for the club. Looking at a fee of around 1.1 million. Um, and there was a couple of Paul Warren quotes, obviously the Rotherham manager, um, who'd obviously said, you know, it's no, it's no hidden secret that he's, he's leaving Rotherham and he's joining Borough. Um, which I think is a really exciting signing. I think, in my opinion, he's actually an upgrade on the likes of George Savile, and that is the type of player that's going to replace George Savile. He's that kind of creative midfielder that will, you know, kind of play anywhere that Warnock needs him to. 
Um, and Warnock said he's the type of player that will get him 10 to 15 goals a season. And I think if he can chip in, you know, if he can reach double figures up there with Uche next season, I think, yeah, I think him in behind the likes of Watmore, Amiobi, Uche, Tav, you know, he's going to be a really um, creative factor in us like scoring goals and him getting himself assists. So, yeah, I think it's a brilliant, brilliant signing. Um, a little bit underrated, but I think he's got some apologising to do with Sam Marcy. I know they had a little bit of beef when um, they played at our place. Um, and he was like laughing in his face and stuff when he scored. But I'm sure they'll squash that, have a little scrap, get it all out there. And then, yeah, go into the, go into the season mates and hopefully develop a really good partnership. So I think them two will be really interesting, both fiery players. So, yeah, be a good looking, good looking tasty midfield. Um, next thing is Sol Bamba is obviously training with the team. Uh, well, he didn't travel down to Cornwall. He stayed in Teesside, Rockcliffe, but he did actually play um, last night. Well, you're watching this, like I said, records it on the the Friday on a sort of been Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday night. He played for the under twenty threes at Rickworth Athletic in their two 0 win, um, and. You know, we got on really, really well. Um, there's been mixed reports. The first report was saying that he wouldn't be offered a new deal. I mean, he wouldn't be offered a deal with the club. It was just purely Warnock doing him a favour, helping him build his fitness and, stuff, and the other. Um, but then there's been fresh reports, obviously, stating that he is someone, as long as he proves his fitness to Warnock, that he could bring him in and give him a, a one-year deal, probably. Um, and I 100% would, like, yeah, welcome him with all arms because... You know, people can argue, yeah, he's thirty six, but if he if he keeps injury free, you know, even if he's kind of in the dressing room and fills in when it when it's needed, or it's kind of like a pay as you play kind of deal, um, to offer that leadership, you know, that guidance in the changing rooms, and you know, be a great impression on um, the likes of Nathan Wood, and just kind of um, help solidify that back line and give advice to um, Dale Fry. Um, Grant Hall, not that he really needs it, but you know he just brings that wealth of experience from the championship as well, and a level-headed leader. Um, so I think, like you said, that'd be a brilliant, brilliant deal. Um, but yeah, let let me know your thoughts on that one, um, and whether it's a deal that you think Borough should make. And obviously, you know Warnock knows him well, so you know exactly what you're getting from him. Next one is actually one out of nowhere at all. I remember I was at work and. I'd seen it pop up on my phone and I looked at it and it kind of took a while to like register. But Jamie Patterson, um, the ex-Bristol City winger who was released after his contract, you know, wasn't given a new one down there. Um, he's actually training with the squad. Now, typical, I think he played five minutes in training on Monday with the team. And within them five minutes, he tweaked his ankle, was ruled out, couldn't play. Um but he's finally back training. I think it was yesterday. Like I said, as I'm recording this video, so it'll be the Thursday. Um, and hopefully we'll see him tonight play against Plymouth um, because he's one of them where he's a really, really exciting winger. And on his, on his day, he's unplayable. You, like, he's a brilliant, brilliant winger. Um, but, you know, he's got plenty of pace. He's a set-piece specialist. Um, it just offers you that something different. And I think that would be a brilliant sign, especially on a free transfer. As long as he can keep injury free, because that's his, that's the main problem, and I think why he was released from Bristol City because he he's injury prone. Um, but fingers crossed, you know I think that'd be a brilliant sign. But let me know your thoughts on that one again. Um, now this one was a strange one, and I've had, I had a lot of Cardiff Cardiff fans like retweeting this and you know saying oh he's getting the band back together. But apparently Borough, this is where the other report came from. A lineup deals for Sol Bamba. Junior Hoyler and Kadeem Harris. Um, now, I'm really split because there's a bit of me that thinks, you know, brilliant signings, the lads' squad depth, um, you know, they'll be there when we need them and give offer you something, you know, a little bit different. Because obviously we signed Amiobi, but he's still, like, he's currently injured. He tweaked his knee and he's waiting scans and that kind of thing. Um, but then you look at, well, Hoyle, I think, is 32 or 33. Um, and you just question whether he's still got it. Um, and then Kadeem Harris, I've had mixed reports from Sheffield Wednesday fans saying 
you know, he's good in spells, but he's not consistent. So, you know, but then on a free, you kind of go, it's, it's just obviously it's a no brainer, it's worth it. Um, Warnock's worked with them, he can get the best out of them. Um, so I just say, in Warnock, we trust. You know what I mean? To, to see what he brings in. Um, if he thinks they can come in make a difference, then by all means, yeah. Um, next one is Borough have apparently remi- um, made an open offer for card defender uh, Kiaran Brown. Um, apparently the first bid was re- rejected. That was yesterday. So that would be the Wednesday. Um, no, the Thursday, sorry. What am I doing? Getting the days mixed up. Um, but yeah, apparently the first bid was rejected for him, but it was actually Warnock that signed him when he was at Cardiff. Um, obviously, he was sacked from Cardiff um, and obviously didn't get to work with him, but he that was a few years ago now. And he, he's, the Browns, he's 23, so, you know, he's got... He's got a good career ahead of him. He actually he came into form at the end of last season for Cardiff. Got called up to the Northern Ireland squad as well. So he's had he's had spells in the international side, which will have been with like Paddy McNair as well. So no him. Um, so we'll just have to see, kind of you know, watch this space kind of thing. See if we go in, um, offer some more. Um, but he looks to be one of them types of defenders where if. You know, if we sign him, I can't really see Sol being offered a deal. He might still be offered, like I said, to a four, like a pay-as-you-play kind of deal. Um, but I think this would be a really good defender. Like you say, he's only 23 years of age, can come in. Uh, Warnock knows exactly what he's about. He's a good, talented uh, youngster. Well, like you said, 23. He's a good, talented player. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, good signing that. Um, watch this face. Then the final one, to wrap it all up, this kind of came out of not well. It didn't come out of not well. He's been linked with moves all over this, that, and the other. Um, but Besiktas have reached an agreement with Akpom, um, but apparently won't leave until Warnock's found a replacement. Now, that's a fair comment because we've only got Uche and uh, Akpom as actual out-and-out strikers. You'd say what more is more of a winger um, that kind of floats in and obviously gets his shot off and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I believe it's going to be reported like three million so we'll just recoup everything um that we bought him for um but yeah let's just see what happens and he might already have left by the time you're watching this video um i'm a little bit gutted myself because i thought we could have you know gave him another season at least i think he had it was a three or four year deal at the club so i was thinking you know he's fast he's Skillful. The only thing that he lacked last ha- last season, sorry, was uh, consistency. You know, he score one, but then go on a big goal drought. Um, I'm not sure what it is that Warnock doesn't like. I don't know whether it is lack of movement or I know at times he just looked a little bit a bit lazy, a bit sluggish on the ball. Um, so I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. But personally, I'd like to give him another season bring these exciting players that we have done so far um, in behind the, the strike force um, and get him some service because last year I think it's quite hard to judge him on the lack of service that he got. You know, when he played, he didn't really get the service. But then when he did, I remember that worldy game that he had when he was at Rotherham, he got himself a goal. He looked right up for it. He had the service. Um, he was running at players, taking them on, 1v1s, exactly what he's about. Um, but yeah, well, like I say, we'll just have to see what happens there. But that is your weekly roundup of all the all the news. I, I imagine there's going to be loads these next couple of weeks. So make sure you, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Like I say, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Uh, if you haven't already done so, watch the AmiOB compilation as well. Let us know what you think of that and whether you like the compilations because we're definitely going to do more of them um, depending on you know, the, the players that come in and the, the types of players that you want to see. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think of that. And if you listen on the podcast, please leave a review because it means an awful lot. It really, really does. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys.